Okay, so today we're going to be looking at creating a canvas on a Procreate. So our learning intention is we are developing our skills using digital programs, specifically Procreate. Our success criteria for today is I can create a new canvas, resize my canvas, change the resolution of my canvas, add a grid to my canvas, and finally zoom in and out of our canvas. Our gala skills for today are resilience, practice and digital literacy as we're developing our understanding of how to use these tools and how they might be in of interest to us. Okay, so when you open up your Procreate app, this is what you'll see. So this is what we call the gallery. This is where all of your existing artworks will be. These save automatically, so you don't need to worry about that too much. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on the plus sign in the top right hand corner. So it'll come up with untitled artwork and then it'll enlarge. Now here we have our canvas. So in the background you can see a grid but overall we've just got a white square at the moment. So one thing we want to make sure of whilst we're creating our artwork is that it doesn't look pixelated at any point. Now, in order to do this, we need to change a few of the settings. So in the top left hand corner, we've got this little spanner icon. Then a drop down menu will appear and you'll see the like kind of paperclip type shape where it says canvas. Okay, so this is all the settings for your canvas. We're going to choose crop and resize and it'll zoom out a wee bit. Then kind of on the right hand side, you can see a settings option. Once we're on that, we're going to change the dimensions of our canvas. So we're going to go for an A4 size of canvas. So if you tap on the dimensions, it'll come up with this other menu. I'm going to select centimeters and change my dimensions to the size of an A4 piece of paper. So 21 centimeters by 29. The next step is to change the DPI, which stands for dots per inch. So to make this optimal for printing, say we wanted to print this image, we would need it to be 300 dots per inch. So we're just going to change that over to 300 dpi and then press the done button in the bottom right hand corner. And then we should start to zoom out and that will be our canvas created to the right size that we want and the right dots per inch. So the Procreate interface is very intuitive. Now one of the ways that it's very easy to work on Procreate is the ability to zoom in and out. So if you pinch your screen, so imagine you're zooming in on an Instagram photo, it's the same idea. So if you put two fingers on the screen and spread your fingers apart, that's going to allow you to zoom in and then you would do the reverse to zoom back out. Alongside this you can also rotate your canvas so you can have it on the diagonal as we can see here or you can have it perfectly aligned with your screen which I personally find easier but it depends on the task that you're doing. We're now going to add a guide to our canvas. So if we go back up to the spanner and then your canvas menu should already be loaded on that drop down menu. Now there's an option for drawing guide, we're going to toggle that on, so you tap on it and it should turn blue. Then directly underneath we have edit drawing guide, so we're going to select this one, it'll zoom out and we've got lots of different options. Okay, so you can change the various settings to do with this guide. So you can change the opacity, which means the darkness of the lines, so as we go further up the lines are getting darker and darker. The other thing we can change is the thickness of the line, so we can make the lines thicker or thinner. We can also change the grid size as well. Okay, so this is helpful if you've maybe got a drawing which is quite a dark colour, you can then change your guides to be a different colour or a different size or a different darkness. Okay, so it all really just depends on the task that you're doing. So another really useful thing that Procreate has is a symmetrical drawing guide. So if we tap on symmetry, we've got a whole bunch of different options. So we're going to tap on that options. Now under this menu, we're going to change it from vertical to radial. On your canvas, you should get these diagonal, vertical and horizontal lines. So these are going to be 
what make your radial symmetry. You can also change the colour of your guide in this section here too. So I have chosen a pink for this section. I'm going to put the thickness up a little bit because the pink's a wee bit hard to see and then click done. So now that we've set up our canvas with our grid, we need to choose a colour. So in the top right hand corner, we are going to choose our colours. So I've got lots predetermined from a previous time when I was using the programme. But I'm just going to choose a black for just now. So now that we've selected our colour, we're going to begin to draw a mandala, which is a circular figure that represents the universe in Hindu and Buddhist symbolism. Okay, so it's meant to show that things are never-ending and cyclical. So as we make one mark on our canvas, you'll notice that's repeated in every single segment. Now that I've done my first line and kind of like how that looks, I'm going to go into the paintbrush symbol in the top right hand corner and choose different brushes and see what different types of effects I can get. So there's hundreds and hundreds of types of brushes within the program. So you can look at different textures, you could look at a painting tool or maybe a calligraphy tool. There's also spray paints within this. So it's completely up to you as to how much detail you want to go into. So remember you can zoom in on your page and go as extremely detailed or you can zoom out and leave it quite simple and impactful. It's completely up to you. Okay, so our learning intention was to develop our skills using digital programs, in particular Procreate. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will be able to create a new canvas, resize your canvas, change the resolution, add a grid, add a drawing guide, and zoom in and out. Now remember, you can pause this video as you go along and do it step by step if you've got your phone next to you or maybe you've got a computer. Otherwise, you can do a split screen on your iPad and follow them on, follow along at the same time. Looking forward to seeing your mandalas very soon.